Streets of Rage was a game very near and dear to my childhood. As I was a Nintendo fanboy growing up, I got the Sega Genesis very late into its life. Now one of the first games that I ever played for the console was Streets of Rage, and I was completely blown away. The gameplay was exciting and the fact that you can have two players at the same time just completely mind boggled me. And in the mid 90s when the next gen consoles were released, I was excited to see another Streets of Rage with enhanced graphics. Created to be the direct successor of Streets of Rage 3, Streets of Rage 4 was set to be released for the Sega Saturn initially. Sega of America decided to develop the game in-house and attempted to purchase the rights to a Japanese game that would be half complete. This game was named Judgment Force. Judgment Force was being designed by Core Design, the individuals behind the Tomb Raider franchise. The idea was to take Judgment Force and rework it into a Streets of Rage game. The simple title of this game was to be Streets of Rage 3D. Streets of Rage 3D unfortunately was not going to include any of the original Streets of Rage characters, but instead four new characters, Hawk, Mace, Hammer, and Vulcan. Towards the end of development, Sega was unhappy with the results and withdrew from the project. The game was later released for the PlayStation, Nintendo 64, and PC as Fighting Force on October 15, 1997. In that same year, a game known as Die Hard Arcade was released for the Sega Saturn and the Sega STV. It was said that the early stages of this game development was actually Streets of Rage. It was changed to Die Hard due to the Sega pulling out of the project and not wanting the game to be released in an arcade platform. Now, several years later, Sega of America enlisted Overworks, which was formerly known as Ancient, to begin a concept of Streets of Rage 4 for the new 128-bit Sega Dreamcast. Now, Overworks was known for the development of the earlier Streets of Rage games for the Sega Genesis, as well as a number of other games such as Shinobi, Fantasy Star, and other popular Sega franchises. A very early tech demo of the game was shown off to conceptualize their idea of the new game. It would include full 3D graphics as well as a first-person mode and a few tag team combos. The tech demo shows a playable character which we can only assume is Axel based on the rendition. Now, executives at Sega of America however were not so eager about the project. They were aware that the side-scrolling beat-em-ups was dying as a genre in the gaming community. With the failed attempt to revive the genre with Fighting Force, Sega of America decided to shut the idea down completely. They did not want to invest any money in a game that was not going to succeed financially. Unfortunately, not much else is known about this game's story or characters, as it never made it past the concept demo. Now this wasn't exactly the end of Streets of Rage, as Sega attempted yet again to revive the franchise when the Xbox released. Composer of the Streets of Rage music, Yuzo Koshiro, had this to say about Streets of Rage 4. Now Sega teams are independent, we'll replan it and bring it to the hitmakers first. If they're interested in making it for Xbox and make a contract with this, I want to restart the plan. He later added, I'm thinking about a first person mode, and needless to say, in 3D, and the game will connect online for multiplayer. And my sister, Ayana Kashiro, from the Asian Artworks Design, designed five new characters for Streets of Rage 4 already. Now sadly, this game was never heard from again, and nothing ever materialized from these concepts until very recently. In August of 2015, Koshiro tweeted a few images from the cancelled Dreamcast title. He showed off the four playable characters, none of which were returning Streets of Rage characters. There is one male which looks a lot like Axel, but in fact it's not. His name is Burn, and he is actually Axel's son. That is all we know of Streets of Rage 4. Thank you guys for watching. Check out some of my other unreleased game videos. And I'll see you all next time.